Hey y'all, my name is Phoenix, and today we have a massive unboxing from thecubicle.com. This is very likely going to be my biggest and is most definitely my most expensive. In this package contains over $500 worth of cubing merchandise. Multiple cubes across both WCA and non-WCA, plus a couple of cool accessories. This is, a, and just to give you a sense of scale, this angle that you're seeing right now is just as high as I can raise my tripod and shoot with my phone. So I can't zoom out anymore aside from adjusting the settings on my phone, which I'm not going to do. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to take everything out of the box one by one, then I'll kind of go over what we have and then I'll adjust the camera and then we'll go ahead and get started properly. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open and see what we got. This knife is way too dull. I'm having a lot of trouble really cutting open this box. It's taped very well and this knife is not very sharp. Okay, we're almost done. I think I need a new knife after this. I'm doing a few unboxings. All right, there we go. I got everything open. I might need to bring this out later, but oh my gosh, this does not fit in the frame. All right, so we got a ton of bubble wrap. I think this is what I stabbed earlier. Um, let's set this back here. More bubble wrap. I'm gonna to try to take all this stuff out and then let me go ahead and set all this stuff down on the table and then let's see what we got. I'm running out of space here. I don't have any I don't have any more space in the frame. I can't show these guys up and I still have three more. Plus a couple of other things. All right, that is everything out of the box and it still does not all fit in the frame. So I'm gonna have to go over these one by one. I'm gonna try to spread these out. But first we got a couple accessories. So I got myself a mat from the cubicle. I know this is too close, but this is as far as my camera can get. So I chose to get the Quicksilver one because as you can see, I got a white desk now. So I think this is gonna go very nicely with the white desk. And yeah, I'm very excited to see how this looks. This will probably be my backdrop for today. And then I also went ahead and I got a cheaty bag. This is the more like the carrying bag and not the backpack. Um, I did have a cheaty backpack, but that unfortunately did not last very long. So I went ahead and I got this one and this one's gonna be more specifically for my cube. So we'll check this out pretty briefly, but now, now let's get into all the puzzles. So let's go ahead and spread these out a little bit. Okay, I think that's everything. You can see my tissue box, I don't care. So what we've got here, we have the MGC 5x5. I'm very excited for this. This is a very popular 5x5. Um, this is the Aofu WRM 7x7. It says right here on the box. It's kind of hard to tell without looking at that. The Yushin 5x5 Pyraminx. Very excited for that. We have the Diensheng Galaxy Gigaminx M. So this is a magnetic Gigaminx. I'm very excited to get into this. Speaking of excited though, we have the Yusin Terraminx. This is probably gonna be the last one that I unbox in this video. I am so, so excited to try this out. With the X-Man Tornado V3, this is the one that has the uh, the core magnets. This one does not have maglev though. This is the flagship edition. To go along with the 5x5 Pyraminx, we also have the Yushin Master Pyraminx. I wanted to get this one a little while ago, but it came out pretty much right after I got my Yushin Gigaminx, so I didn't get a chance to get this one for a little bit. Here we have the Aoshi WRM 6x6, also from Moyu. The Dian Megaminx version 2. We have the Shangshao Square 0 and Square 2. I'm very excited to see these. We have the Chi OS Cube. I've heard a lot of pretty like annoyed slash pretty crazy stuff about this. We have the Gan Skew. This is the enhanced version. I'm very excited to get into that. Here we have a mini gear cube keychain. I actually got one of these a while ago and I made, it was actually in one of my earlier unboxings, but then I lost my keys and this along with it. So this one I'm not gonna put on my keys because I've learned my lesson. We have the Chi 9x9. This is my first ever 9x9. And then to wrap everything up, we have the Moyu Weilong Pyraminx. So a lot of exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and clear this off and we're gonna go ahead and start with the Tornado V3. We now got our camera sorted out. This is probably gonna be the same angle that I use for the rest of the video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the X-Man Tornado V3. This is the flagship edition. So this one only has the core magnets. This does not have maglev. So this is the one that was most recommended by the cubicle. And let's go ahead and open this up. Unwrap all the plastic. This is gonna be a huge mess. Um, it's gonna be quite the cleanup at the end of this. So. 
Oh boy, look at that. So here we have the, uh, the puzzle right here. I'm very excited to get into this. And then this looks like a pretty big accessory box. Um, that's, um, okay, there we go, we got it. So I'm gonna move all this stuff off to the side. Let's see what's in the box. Actually, hang on, I completely forgot. There we go. Now we're all set and ready to go. So now let's go ahead and see what we got in here. So let's just set the cube down there. Before I open that up, let's see what we have in the accessory box. Pretty flexible card. So it just says X-Men design and then um, it just says, okay, so this is a pamphlet on how to make the adjustments. Is this like a cleaning cloth or something? So I probably don't want to open that right now. In here, this is a setting tool right here. I like that it has the X-Men logo on it. Um, right here, we have an X-Men bag. So we've got a new bag to store this in. Probably not gonna be necessary because it's gonna go on display. And then the last thing that's in the box is an instruction manual. So let's just set all this off to the side for now. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open this up. Ooh, look at that. That is exciting. Just by looks, I think this is definitely one of the more premium speed cubes that I have. This is actually the most expensive three x three that I have. So let's check out the turning. Oh wow, I like that already. Wow, that is amazing. So just on first impressions, this is already way better than what I'm using. So my current main was the RS3M and this one definitely does stand to, definitely does stand up pretty well. It has very strong magnets, it performs very well, it doesn't have any sort of resistance. But the problem is it just doesn't feel very good and you can't adjust the magnets at all. With this one, however, you should be able to adjust the magnets pretty well to your liking. Um, so I would say that this definitely has potential just as a main like right away i would definitely say that this is a worthy contender so yeah definitely definitely impressed with the way that this one performs it's definitely my best three by three right now for sure this is becoming my main i absolutely love this thing so i'm gonna try to keep this uh video concise also my camera's kind of tilted definitely on first impressions it is worthy to be my main and i don't think that would be <laughs> much of a surprise for anyone because the X-Men Tornado V3 just has been a really, um, a really popular cube just ever since it's released. So I'm definitely happy to have this. I wanted to get this earlier this year, but sadly I wasn't able to. So I'm glad I finally have the Tornado V3 in my collection. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, moving on, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open up this mini gear cube because I've already shown this on my channel before, but then, like I said, I actually lost it. So unfortunately, I never really got a chance to really get accustomed to having this. So here we have the keychain, and this really isn't anything special, especially compared to the regular gear cube. I mean, you can see a substantial size difference. I think this is just over half the size of the gear cube. So let's see how it turns. Okay, yeah, it's a little, a little tricky to work, but that's just fine. So that layer works pretty good. Oh boy, I think the keychain might get caught in the gears here. Oh boy, it's just swinging around like that. Look at that. Looks like the keychain is having a bit of fun. Um, and then one more time, we'll turn this side now. Actually, no, wait, that's the wrong, wrong axis. So I guess more on this side. So yeah, it does definitely do its job pretty well. Even, oh, that didn't sound good. So it definitely doesn't perform as well as the original G Gear Cube, but this one, you have a much, much better room to grip and it doesn't feel as tight. This one feels a little bit tighter, but it definitely does serve its purpose very well, considering that this is just more of a novelty item. So I'm glad that I finally have this again in my collection. I really wish that I could have found it um, when I was just cleaning everything out, but let's just move on. All right, next up, let's take a look at the GAN Skube. So this is actually the enhanced version of the Skube. So it's going to have the uh, the core magnets and then also the, uh, the piece magnets. I got the enhanced version because in my eyes, core magnets by themselves are not anywhere near as good as piece magnets by themselves. So having piece magnets or really just anything to secure the pieces in place was definitely really good. And the core magnets is another easy way to do something like that. However, I don't feel like they're gonna hold up as well as if you just had piece magnets. So we have a large pamphlet here, um, a small accessory box here, and then we have the cube itself right there. Uh, real quick though, what is in here? 
Um, I think this is just a big instruction manual, so I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, so immediately we have another GAN bag. So here we have an adjustment tool. So this is to adjust the strength. Uh, uh, no, this is to adjust the tensions. Uh, pamphlet here, I believe this is an instruction manual for the, um, it's an instruction manual for the, the adjustments. So let's go ahead and set that behind me. And let's open up the cube itself. So this is actually, fun fact, this is my first ever puzzle from GAN. I do not have any of GAN's other puzzles until I got this one. So you bet I was excited to get this one. So I wanted to try this one out. So, oh, it's definitely very smooth. A little squeaky, but that's all right. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, this definitely has a lot of potential, so. Oh man, this is gonna be exciting to play with. So my current main was already the way long, and you can definitely see that the Florian cuts on the GAN don't seem to be as big as they are on the way long. However, this one definitely does have a lot of, this is very definitely very smooth. It's not quite as fast as the GAN though, like the GAN, the GAN has got a lot of speed to it, and I feel like this also has a little bit more stability and a little bit more controllability thanks to the core magnets, and this also has maglev tensions, which just by itself makes it a lot faster. So the GAN skew probably is worthy to be my main. I'll have to do a comparison between the GAN and the Waylong, but I do think the GAN scoop is definitely going to become my main. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, shall we? All right, so next up, I wanted to move on to the Diane Megaminx V2. I've heard great things about this, and my current main being the Yuhu V2, it's definitely holding up very well. But the one thing, some things that I don't really like about the Yuhu V2 is just the grip, and then it also just feels a little bit cheap. So I don't know if the grip is going to be uh, too much better when it comes to the Diane because the Diane's even smaller and it has more subtle grip assistance. So I was thinking that this one could possibly be my main, but out of all of the speed cubes that I got, this is probably the only one that I'm a little bit skeptical of just because my main issue with the Yuhu V2 right here is just the fact that it just doesn't feel right. Like it feels way too light and I just don't feel like the magnets are that strong. The grip is okay, honestly. Now that I think about it, grip isn't really that big of an issue when it comes to um, like actually speed solving. However, the feeling is definitely not too great. So before I try out this, once again, we got an accessory box. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? We've got some replacement springs. Oh, that's a heavy screwdriver. Wow. We've gotten a bag with every speed cube so far. So, wow. Wow. Oh wow, this feels so nice. It definitely doesn't have as crazy a grip as this, but it feels so much better. I think this might actually, you know what? I think I might actually have a new Megaminx main. This might actually have been beaten out. Like this is an outstanding Megaminx. I actually really like this. I was having a couple like very subtle doubts about this, but this is actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. So. But I can definitely say, without a doubt, this is definitely gonna be my main just because it feels so much nicer. All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the Square 2 and the Square 0 side by side. These are two Square 1 modifications and they basically are a Square 1 with less pieces for the Square 0, as you can see here, and they both come with an instruction manual. Hopefully we will not need them because I've seen Z3 cubing unbox these before. And then we also have the square two and the square two is essentially a square one, but with more pieces. And I think I'm gonna have to switch this one around a little bit. So you can see this is my uh, MGC square one right here. So I'll kind of um, I'll kind of show you what I mean when I say uh, less pieces and more pieces. So let me just get these out of plastic. So with the square zero, you can see that there's only four pieces up top, but with the square one, you can see that there are eight pieces up top. And that's because these edges have actually been fused to these corners, as you can see. So there's now less pieces and, oh wow, definitely a weird turning mechanism. So you can see that there are less pieces overall, whereas on the square two, which let me go ahead and switch these two, um, let me go ahead and switch the blue and the green caps because I do not solve with the yellow on top. All right, that's better. So with the square two, it's a little bit more interesting because you can see with the square zero, we just kind of fuse this edge to this corner. With the square zero, however, we split each of the corners in half. So you can turn through the middle just like that. And that's not really a shape that you would normally see on a square one. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble these up. I'll probably solve these either later or actually right now. So this one I will be able to do right now. This one might take me a minute. So let's go ahead and scramble both of them up. And it depends on how much time I have left. I've been recording for 25 minutes already. Oh boy, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at, look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. And the good thing about this is that there's no moves that are actually gonna bandage themselves because since you can turn on like a lot of these, or like all 12 points, there's never gonna be any points where you would, like you would turn and it would not do this. Obviously it's not a great example on the MGC. Let's go ahead and solve the square zero real quick. And then I'm gonna, I can try to solve the square two. I'm not sure if I'll be able to immediately though. So we can just pair that up and then I can bring this back and then we have a top layer done. Oh, that was it. Uh, okay, so square zero is done. First thing you want to try to do with the square two is you want to um, you want to uh, start getting it into a cube shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pairing up these corners, and I'm going to try to find. Um, okay, so that moves that out of the way. Um, this one. And then, yeah, and it all works out. So now we just got it into a regular square one state. So I'm gonna try to get all the smaller edges together. I, so the best way to do that is by just pairing them up. And then I'm gonna do this. I am not really the best with square one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do basic algorithms. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to start pairing these corners. I need to make sure that I can get these colors correct. You know what? I gotta... No, I'm, th I'm thinking about this wrong. I gotta try to get everything on one side of the cube. So if I do this... Then we got this. Okay, so I gotta pair all the, what, all the yellows with the yellows. The whites with the whites. Okay, so we got this. And then... Let's try doing that. I really, really don't want to mess any of this up. I'm kind of stuck on this step right here, and there's still a lot more to do, so I'm not really sure. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to probably come back to this later. I just don't think that I necessarily have the time to do this right now. I'm not really sure how to do this. I'll probably have to solve this again later, but I need to move on. I've been recording for 32 min 33 minutes now, and I need to go ahead and move on. So. I will probably come back and do this later. Definitely a much trickier variation of the square one, but we need to move on because I'm running out of time. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the MGC, or not the MGC, the Waylong Pyraminx. I've unboxed the MGC already. Um, this is what I've heard to be the best Megaminx, or the, what am I saying? The best Pyraminx on the market. Jeez, that square two has left me jumbled already. Throw this all off to the side. Um, we got a pamphlet with, I believe the whole team. We have a spare core. I have heard that the core does have a couple of breaking issues. Um, some adjustment uh, tools, a, an instruction booklet on how to use the adjustments or or how to solve it, I don't know. Just an instruction booklet of some kind. And then we have two parts of the screwdriver. Ugh. Let's just set all this stuff behind us and let's unwrap the Pyraminx. So I'm very excited to get into this. I've been, once again, I wanted the Waylong Pyra for a while, but when I was going to place the order that I made earlier this year, this one was out of stock. So I had to settle for the MGC instead. And the MGC has definitely performed quite a bit. It's definitely definitely a very good Pyraminx. It's definitely very fast. I got an average of 100 on this and it was pretty good. But I'm excited to see how the weight long goes. So let's first take a look. The core looks to be not transparent. I did hear that it had a transparent core, so. Oh, wow, look at that. Those magnets are so snappy. They might be a little bit strong. The tips are great. Um, oh wow, this is so responsive. This is just like the Diane Megaminx. So the magnets are so responsive. Listen, look at that. Pretty far away. And then just a little nudge and yeah, look at that. That's amazing. I actually really enjoy that. So yeah, definitely. I definitely would have to say this is a new main over the MGC. Even at the strongest settings, the MGC magnets are nowhere near as responsive as this. So definitely a worthy contender. So. I absolutely love this thing. This is 
100% a worthy main. So very glad that I got my hands on this. The MGC has definitely held up pretty well. However, I think it is time that the Waylong takes its place. So let's go ahead and move on. Now, while we're on the topic of pyramid sense, let's go ahead and open up the Yushin Master Pyramid. So immediately the box is a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but the pyramid itself, the about the same size as a regular pyramid, at least from what I saw from ZV Cubing. So this is just a little bit of empty space and a small instruction manual, which I won't need because I know how to solve a master pyramid. I've done it many times before. If you compare this to my Chi, it's definitely a little bit smaller. I like the way this looks a lot more. This looks absolutely beautiful um, just with the stickerless and the black internals. And this one does function decently well, but it's not too stable. So, um, so let's see how this one is. So we'll start with the tips. Definitely a lot snappier than this layer. Oh man, these are really snappy. Oh wow, that's so snappy. It's definitely a little hard to turn because you have to turn such big layers, but I would forgive it for that. But it's definitely a very nice novelty to have, especially because I love the way this looks a lot more. I wanted to get this one for a little while, but I wasn't able to because it was, um, it was just not something that I put in my order when I got my Gigaminx. So, while we're here, let's also go ahead and unbox the 5x5 Pyraminx because this one is going to be even more exciting because I've done a Master Pyraminx before, but I have never done a 5x5 Pyraminx. So I am going to scramble up both of these, but I'm not going to solve them on camera just for the sake of time. I do need to move on to the rest of the cubes because I still have, uh, yeah, I still have, I still have seven more cubes to go. So I'm not even, like, I'm only barely halfway through, so... Here we go, here it comes out of the box. No accessories this time. I'm not entirely sure how to solve the 5x5 pyramid, but we'll have to see. Um, so let's take it out of the plastic. Oh wow, that is so heavy. Oh my gosh, that is super heavy. Look at that, like compared to this, this is immensely heavy. Wow. So the 5x5 is definitely a lot more um, massive of a puzzle. It's definitely, oh wow. The snappiness isn't quite as responsive. It's actually a little unstable. And then the tips, about the same. So just checking out the turning here, I would say probably not as snappy as this one, but it does turn a little bit more smoothly. And I would say it's a little bit quicker just doing something like this. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this one's gonna be a pretty wacky solve. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how to solve this, but I have an idea on how I can solve this. Let's go ahead and mix both of them up. All right, so there's the Master Pyraminx all scrambled up. Now let's scrambled the 5x5 Pyraminx. Oh boy, this is gonna be exciting. All right, so that looks like a really wacky scramble. These two are gonna look great next to each other in my collection, so I'm very excited to get into these, but... All right, this is gonna be the last uh, pair of puzzles that I open together. We have the Aoshi WRM 6x6 and the Alfu WRM 7x7. So let's go ahead and open up the 6x6 first. We have a couple more WCA puzzles in this order, but they're all big cubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the six and seven first. And then I'll go ahead and move on. We'll do the MTC 5x5 last. Um, so, all right, so let's go ahead and check these out. So let's go ahead and open up the 6x6 first. Oh boy, that looks amazing. So 6x6 is all wrapped up. It's definitely a little bit of a smaller 6x6, but that's something to be expected. I bet these two accessory boxes are also going to contain pretty much the same thing. So it just has a pamphlet and then you can see a screwdriver in there. They're both going to contain the same things, So I'm just going to set these all behind me. Um, and then let's go ahead and look at the 7x7 as well. Look at that. So that's amazing. I'm not going to open this one. Uh, I'll do that later because it's going to pretty much have the same stuff. So, oh my gosh, these are tough. So there's our six by six. And then just a little bit more. And then we have the seven by seven. All right, so we got the six by six and the seven by seven. Let's start with the six by six. Oh, wow. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's check these layers. Oh my gosh, this thing is actually really good. All right, middle layers. Let's see how well these stay together. Oh wow, this is, oh man, this is amazing. Wow, 
Okay, so I don't have them with me right now. I just kind of left them on the shelf. My current uh, main 6x6 and 7x7 are just YJ budget ones, and this is way better than that. I'm pretty sure the MGC is a good competition for this, but when it comes to 6x6 and 7x7, I wanted the absolute best, and I think that these are going to be the absolute best. So let's try the 7x7. Oh. Seems like there's a little bit of sticking, at least from what I've seen. So let's try the next layer. And then let's go one more time. All right, now let's try the innermost layer. All right, well, that is absolutely outstanding. Let's go ahead and do the checkerboard on this one. This is gonna look amazing. I absolutely love both of these puzzles just out of the box. I haven't even, like, I'm not even doing a proper solve in any or anything, and I can already tell these are gonna be fantastic. I knew that these were gonna be my main immediately when I placed that order, and they did not disappoint. These two are both absolutely fantastic cubes. And if you're gonna get into 6x6 and 7x7 and you want an absolute no-nonsense puzzle, you want the best of the best, definitely go for the WRMs. They are, in my opinion, the best ones, even just right out of the box. They're already better, and they're a lot more comfortable to hold um, than my my previous 6x6 and 7x7, because these are also a little bit more compact, a little smaller. So definitely enjoy the WRMs. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and try out the Chi OSQ. So I've heard a lot about this puzzle. I've also heard that it's a little tricky to open. I think you need this bit. Let's hope that this can peel off. I might be the first person to ever do this successfully. Come on, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Come on, I can do this. Am I gonna be the first person to do this successfully? Come on. How much more have I got? Oh, 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 I got it. I got it all successfully, yeah, and I didn't rip it. That's the first time I've ever seen that done. It barely even fits in here, it's so big. And then I think, I think, is this the instruction? What is in here? Um. Oh, this is just like a bunch of uh, pattern challenges, I guess. These are just like different levels of challenge. It's not actually an instruction manual, so I might take a look at this later. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away for now. Set this behind me. So let's see how it fits in the case now. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely fits in the case very well. And it doesn't have any of that um, sticker peeling residue behind. So I'll set the case behind me and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and end so let me show you how this turns, okay? So if I do an R move, look at that. It actually makes all the tiles pop out. So you might be thinking, what's so challenging about this? Well, if you turn it, it's certainly all gonna be the same thing. Well, no, when you make a turn, the tiles will pop out. And the only way that this is solved is if you pop all the tiles back in. So it's the same for that. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Look at that. Let's do a T-perm. Look at that, that is insane. So let's do that T-perm again. And now it's solved. This is absolutely, like this is an outstanding puzzle. And I honestly can't wait to get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble it up now. Once again, I'm not gonna attempt to solve here just for sake of time because I still have four puzzles to go through and I've been recording for almost 50 minutes, so. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and leave that scrambled for now. I'll go ahead and I'll try to solve this later. All right, moving on to the last speed cube that we have in the box, we have the MGC 5x5. So 5x5 is actually one of the more surprisingly like forgiving events. Like big cubes are not really the most forgiving, but I found that of all the cubes that are between five, or uh, between four and seven, I've always found that 5x5 seems to be the most generous. So. Go ahead and take this out. I definitely think that this is gonna look great alongside my MGC 4x4, so let it slip out of the box right there. And there, it's upside down. And it's all right. So we got a YJ accessory box again, and we got the cube, so let's set the box aside. Wait, hold up. No, there's nothing in the box. So once again, take a look at the accessories real quick. Probably nothing crazy. We got replacement springs. We got screwdriver with some spare magnets, that's nice. 
Uh, we got more replacement springs, so we got positive and negative springs. I'm not sure what the differences between the two are. Um, and then we got the instruction bo booklet and whatnot. Let's set these behind us and let's check out the cube itself. So the MGC 5x5 is usually one of the more favored 5x5s and I'm definitely excited to get into this. I chose to get this over the WRM just because you don't really need the most expensive hardware for 5x5. <laughs> Even the one that I'm using, the YJ, like the, I believe this is the, um, the Yuchuang V2, that's what it is. Even this one is already doing very well, so let's go ahead and see how the MGC performs. Oh, wow. So it seems very consistent between the layers. Let's go ahead and do a checkerboard real quick. Oh wow, that looks phenomenal. And I also really like the way that the green contrasts with the blue. I don't think it does the same on my MGC 4x4. I'll probably check that here uh, later. But I think without a doubt, this MGC 5x5 and every every competition item that I've gotten in this unboxing, I have I have made my con I've made my decision. They're all becoming my maids. Every single cube that I got that is usable in competition, they become my new maids. They're absolutely fantastic. I recommend them to anybody who wants to get serious with that event. There might be some new ones to come in the future for other puzzles, but as of now, I'm very happy with all of these and I'm certain if you were to get them, then you would be too. So let's go ahead and move on. We have three big non-WCA puzzles left. Let's get moving. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and make things quick with this because I already have a Gigaminx. This is the Dianshang Galaxy M Gigaminx. So this is um, a magnetized Gigaminx made by Dianshang. I believe it is the first mass produced magnetic Gigaminx. And I think you can also see the MS logo right there. Is MS just a sub-brand of Dianshang? This is definitely a very fancy box. Actually, I really like this box. I don't wanna throw this away, um, but I probably will have to recycle it. So let's go ahead and pull it up. Oh my, that's tight. Come on now. All right, awesome. So it looks like it's already in a bag. That's pretty nice. And then what's at the bottom here? All right, it looks like that's an instruction booklet. I do not need that. I have solved the Gigaminks many times before. So I should not need that. And then inside this really, really nice bag that's already sealed very tightly. Oh my gosh, that's actually sealed really tight. We have the Gigaminks. And look at that. Look at how compact that is. Like this, like here, like this is the size, this is almost the size of a normal Mega Minx. Like this thing is so compact. Like it's, this is amazing. And comparing it to my Yushin Gigaminx, um, like this, like this Yushin Gigaminx is so huge compared to this one. It's amazing. But let's check out the turning real quick. You might be seeing the Yushin Gigaminx again later, but let's go ahead and check out the turning. All right, so you can definitely feel the magnets if you turn slowly. And then the inner layer magnets are of course gonna be stronger. So overall, this seems like it's gonna be a much more enjoyable experience to solve than the Yushin, just because it is magnetic. It's a little bit more compact and it seems to turn a little bit more fluidly. It doesn't seem to be as like tight and frictiony. Everything's rubbing against each other. So I'm definitely excited to get into this. It takes a while to scramble though. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. That looks beautiful. Look at that. Just all of that. That is gorgeous. And I cannot wait to get into solving this. So that'll be it for this puzzle. Let's move on to the next one. We have two more to go. All right, our second to last puzzle is one that I have never had before. This is the Chi 9x9, my first ever 9x9 in my collection and instruction booklet that we should not need. Um, let's go ahead and dump it out. It's not wrapped in any plastic. That's pretty nice. And this is actually, this feels really big. Um, let's see, comparing it to the 8x8, wow, that thing is, that thing is actually pretty big. Um, so yeah, let's check out the turning here. Ooh, look at that. And yeah, it gets a little heavier when you get to the middles, but overall, it seems pretty useful, so, or not useful, it seems pretty usable, so let's go ahead and quickly do a checkerboard pattern here. And just go ahead and test out all the layers, I guess. Wow, 
Wow, look at that. That is abs like tell me that's beautiful without telling me that's beautiful. Look at this. This is absolutely outstanding. I'm so glad to finally have a nine by nine. This along with the eight by eight, they're gonna look fantastic on the shelf together. And I'm not gonna fully scramble the nine by nine yet. I'm not gonna do that to the Terra Mix as well because I do have to reorganize a lot of my shelves now that I have this. So I'm gonna try not to scramble anything that's gonna be too, uh, too time grindy of a solve. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this checkerboard and then we'll go ahead and move on to the last cube. I'm very excited for it. I've been waiting a very long time to get it. Actually, hang on. Real quick though, before I get into the last puzzle, I do want to kind of show off the bag real quick. It does kind of fill the frame a little bit. It's not really anything special. It's just a bag that I got to help store my cubes. This might be good for like maybe a small travel bag. This might be just reserved for cubes. So this I'm very excited to have and it's definitely gonna be a pretty high quality bag. So definitely is something that I could expect from Chi. So without further hesitation, let's get into the last and most exciting puzzle of this unboxing. All right, the last puzzle of the entire unboxing. It is time to unbox the Yushin Terraminx. This is the biggest puzzle that I have in my collection now in terms of the number of pieces. And so let's take it out of the box. I'm definitely very excited to see what this has. So let's open it up. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so massive. And I haven't even taken it out of the wrapper yet. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. What? Look at this. Look at this, wow. That. Oh my gosh, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, I knew that this was gonna be an insane, it's so heavy too, look at, oh my gosh. Like, this is absolutely insane. I knew that this was gonna be ridiculous from the moment I first saw it on the cubicles page. I did not expect it was gonna be this crazy. Wow, and the turning is so good too. Like, the layers don't stick to each other at all. At least unless you're doing like really aggressive moves, the layers just absolutely, they don't stick to each other. Like look at how, like, this is such a big and heavy puzzle. This is insanity. And wow, like I, I'm honestly, like I'm glad I saved this for last because this thing is ridiculous. I can't believe like how, how did they, I have no words. I have absolutely no words for this. This is just absolutely, this is amazing. I cannot believe this. So yeah, I think that's honestly, I don't even like, I don't want to scramble it up right now because I know it's going to take a long time to solve. Um, and I do have to reorganize a lot of stuff right now because my room is a mess. Um, but yeah, let's, I, I, I don't really know what to say about this. This is just fantastic. The Gigamix was already an exciting puzzle. I'm, speaking of which, look at this. Like, look at this compared to the Gigamix. The Gigamix is, the Gigamix is so small compared to this. And this so light. Like, this thing feels like three, this thing's like two pounds. Like, maybe not that heavy. This thing is so heavy. Like, this thing is insane. But, that does mean that we are now in um, we're now approaching the end of this unboxing. I really have no words for this. I'm, I, I'm honestly speechless and I think that's probably just a good way to end it. So let's go ahead and bring all the puzzles in and let's close out the video. All right, so that is everything that I got here in this package. Absolutely massive, easily one of the most exciting unboxings that I've ever done. And I have to say, there are so many puzzles that I'm really happy that I finally have in my collection. I've wanted the OS cube for such a long time. The square two and square zero are really nice to have. These two are absolutely fantastic. This one, I'm very excited to try and solve. But this, the Terramix, I, abs I just can't get over how freaking giant this is compared to everything else. Like everything else on this table looks really tiny compared to the, the Terramix. Absolutely fantastic, and a big thank you to the cubicle for sending me these. I'm not being paid to say this, but if you're going to get any of these, be sure to do it at thecubicle.com. I recommend that you do so. And I really, I just have no words. I'm just like, I'm kind of like, I'm so happy that I have all of these because I've been waiting for such a long time to get a lot of these puzzles. 
So that's about all I have to say about this. So if you enjoyed this, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more from me in the future, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new uploads. If you have anything to point out, then please be sure to do so in a nice way in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this. I know this was a very big unboxing, but it was a very exciting unboxing and I hope that it was worth your time. Thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for me for this video. I will see you next time. Farewell.